Japanese koi in here. Absolute monster. 30,000 euros. What's the largest fish you've ever had? You discovered this yourself. That is humongous. Well, how many more ponds do you have back here? Gee, insanely beautiful, enormous 3,000 liter reef aquarium. When I do something, I will do it perfect. 22, 16, 10,000 euros. Wow. A black diamond. I'm a little shook. I'm not going to lie, guys. We're here today in Germany at a store called Korlenzuk and Koi Aqua. This is got to be one of the best fish stores that I've ever been to in terms of coral and in terms of koi. And this is the owner, Thomas Paul. He's going to be giving us a tour inside. Let's go check it out. This business I started when I was old, 19 years. And now I am 59, so 40 years ago. Korlenzuk. What does this word mean? In Korallenzucht is coral breeding. In Germany, it's Züchten is breeding. Züchten. Coral breeder. Korallenzucht. Wow. So right when you walk in, you have koi on the right and then coral on the left. What do you sell more of? The coral or the koi? The most we sell on our product. Your product. Yes. Brazil, yes. We sell all what you need for reef keeping, different uh, supplements for coral. In every country, we have retailer. Wow, there's so many corals in here. It's a good thing you guys have these couches because I would just literally sit here <laughs> and watch the corals all day. Yes. It's so cool. Lots and lots of beautiful fish. People only want beautiful fish. The most of that fish what we have, we buy small. I don't know which to choose first. I don't know where to start. The coral. So that's my furthest background. That's where I started. So the first tank they have here is this enormous three thousand liter reef aquarium. This has got to be what? Four and a half meters long, 1.2 meters wide. This tank is absolutely beautiful. How long has this been here? Since 2012. It's 10 years old. Some of the coral we have more than 20 years, I think. Really? Yeah. When we started, it was small corals. And now they're like huge colonies. What's your favorite coral? My favorite coral is Styloporto. Is it the color? Yes, it's the color and they grow very massive. These ones? These ones I like. But these are uh, like the ones over there, yes, right? Yes, yes. And how much can someone buy those for? 300 to 50. This coral, I think the weight is 20 kilos, 25 kilos. And when I get it, it was this size. So when the coral is too big, we take out. Cut it? Cut it and take in. I think this is one of the best reef tanks I've ever seen. And is this running the Zeovit? Yes. Thomas started Zeovit, which is very famous, but for people that don't know what it is, can you explain to the viewers? Yes, I can show you what is Zeovit. Oh, okay. Oh my God. This is amazing. It's so much coral. This is Zeovit. It's a product that gives the nature biology to the system. This is a Zeovit filter, and this is the Zeovit medium. This is it, yeah. I need to get some of this. <laughs> so, that is what we sell now 25, 30 years ago. You don't like small frags? No, no. I can tell because all their corals in here are, are nice big pieces. In Germany, the people like more larger ones. Oh, in the US, a frag is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And this, this coral here, you see that fist size. Yeah. The price is 99 euro per piece. That's really cheap. I say always to my clients, they can give more money. When it's too cheap, I take more. Right. What's the most expensive or valuable coral in here? In time, that, that coral is expensive. So we take for this size 200 euro. There is so much coral in here. It's so beautiful. And the fish that you have in here? The most here. fish we get from customer. In the tanks, when it's too large, they bring here. But you don't really sell fish. No, salt water not. What I like about your shop is that there's no prices written on the window. You no. Know, like you really no. get to enjoy the aquariums in here. They have to ask though how much every single coral is, right? We have our prices. So when I see the pink one, it's 90 euro. Something smaller is 70 euro. Yeah. When you buy five, it's a little less. So it's normal. Look at the colors here. It's just like a rainbow. It's so beautiful. Pink. Blue. The polyp extension is awesome. But that's a massive piece. Really nice fish in here as well. Some like big angelfish and tang. This is a pair of Navachus angelfish. Yeah. And when they first put them in the tanks, they had them separated, but one of them jumped over the tank to be with the other one. And I guess that's how they knew that they were a pair. In here, this is your LPS tank. LPS, yes. 
Dude, look at this coral. It's like rainbow. You can see in America all these crazy names they have for the yes. coral. So, What is your opinion on that? The fantasy names I do not know. When the people say they want a short cake or some dragon bell, or when, I do not know the names. Give me a picture that I see the coral and then I know what they want. That wasn't really something that was a part of the hobby when you were really starting with it, right? How has the hobby changed? The hobby change is more not to nature. I, it, the hobby changed more to electronics. It's not a good way, I think. I think the first for starter is to look that the biology is good. Yeah, like it starts there. Yes, but you must make it slowly. The most want quick. Rift keeping is better when you make slow. Right. And that you cannot do with any electronics. So when the coral not grow, it's always a problem of your uh, water. So when you change on your water, everything, make it slow. Very old school way of reading. Yes, old it. school is that to learn, to see what coral want. Yeah. When you know that, it's very easy. This is very easy. So how did you get into keeping koi? Yes, we take one fish and that is the start. Man, you have a lot of fish. Yes. How many fish total do you think are in the farm? Some. Some, some fish. There are some fish here. We have some fish. Hundreds, maybe not thousands of koi fish here. We have 65 koi ponds. 65? Yes. How often do you feed all the fish in here? Normally three times per day. Gotcha. And how much food total is that? How many kilos? Per day, 45. 45 kilos. Yeah. How much money is that just to feed the fish every day? <laughs> Around about 600 euro per day. Just to feed the fish. <laughs> this fish is huge. <laughs> it's always hungry. <laughs> this is a koaku? Koaku, yes. And how much is that fish? It's 16,000. 16,000? Yes. Are these the most expensive fish you have in the no, show? No. 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 All of the fish that are in these ponds are for sale? It's all for sale, yes. What's the most expensive koi that you have in the shop? In the shop, I think 20,000. Which one is it? <laughs> Which one is that? So they're separated by breeders? Yes. So this one and that one is around about 20,000. That is a beautiful fish. So that's a Deutz, which means it's a scaleless koi. Oh, and the other one, this one. This one? This one, yes. With the orange and the gray? Yes. When it's, when it's ready, it's orange and black. In two years, looks that. Like this? Yeah. When it's ready, it's 10,000 euro more. And you know? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Wow. The black color in koi sometimes develops later. It can totally change not only the look of the fish, but obviously the price of the fish as well. I love this fish. Yes. It can ship to US. You can ship to the US? Okay. I need to build a bigger pond first. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, I'm not, I'll give you a call. What's the biggest fish you have in the shop? Karashi goi. Karashi goi. Yes. There are some monsters in here. <laughs> and some people always just want one or two fish that's really big. Yes. So there's a fish in here. It's called a black diamond. It looks like almost like an orca whale. <laughs> Look, it's cool. It's got like, it's all black and it's got white tail, white fins. How much is the black diamond? Around about 10,000. 10,000 euros. And then over here, this is big scale. Big scale? Big scale. Ooh. To me, this fish isn't very pretty. Many people like the fish. But like this one, I don't know. Is that still normal? It's special, yes. Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> Japanese name. <laughs> These are koaku. These typically are the most expensive. Yes. Fish. And this is like a classic Japanese breed. Normally in every koi pond, you have to have one koaku at least. It's kind of the very traditional red and white koi fish, the classic. How much are these? Beginning of 2000 and more. Wow, so that's the buy-in. These ones right here are what? Hiyotsuri. We buy in this size so, last year. So you buy a lot of fish and to grow them? Yes. I mean, that's tiny, yeah. A good fish takes time, always. A good tank takes time. You must be a very patient man with the corals and with the koi. For me, when I do something, I will do it perfect. Yeah. So, and I take many time for that. When I see it works not good, I work till it was good.
All right, so now we're going into the outdoor ponds that he has. And these are like some greenhouses. Did you build all of this yourself? Yes, this one, yeah, big scale. Big scale. Oh, so also okay. big scale, larger one. They come in different colors. Big yes, scale. yes. Ah. Now we like. <laughs> yeah. The next one. This place doesn't ever end. <laughs> Super mango. Super mango. Very bright orange. I like this fish. The super mango. Yes, yes. So nice fish. You see this fish right here? 30,000 euros. Is that the most expensive fish out here? I think, yes. So Thomas is going to catch this fish. He's just going to bring it up so you guys can get a closer look at the 30,000 euro. Sanke. Oh, wow. He's trying to get in there, too. Wow. Look at this. You can see the, the big hump there. You know, when like kids have big feet, you're like, oh, this kid's going to be really tall. Very similar. That is a expensive koi fish. This is small fish. This is fish for 99 euro. Little koi. This is our future for the next year. It's basically like the baby koi house. This is where he keeps all the little baby koi that he picked out. And he's hoping in two, three, four years from now are going to be worth a lot of money. And when it's ready, the fish goes to other ponds. But when one start, all others start also. <laughs> Can you remember every single one of these? Yes. I must look every day. This is not for sale. Why not? This is only to grow. Grow, grow, grow. None of these are for sale. Not for sale. Not for sale yet. <laughs> yes. My wife. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Do you work within the business? Yes. Yes. So it's a family business now? Yes, family business. Our youngest employee, seven years old. There is one freshwater tank in here. So Thomas's son, Tim. This is my tank. Nice. This is your tank? Yes, please. Wow. Some plants, some guppies, some tetras, some little fish. Oh, I followed you now. She subscribed, and you guys should too. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button. So dad is into koi, mom is into corals, and their son getting his feet wet with fresh water. We are now on our way to Thomas's home residence, where he keeps more ponds with some of his largest and most expensive koi fish. If you thought what we saw at his shop was crazy, just wait until you see what's in his backyard. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is what's up. This is an amazing backyard pond. This is sweet. 100,000 liters. Oh my gosh. So there's like a little staircase that goes into the water. And really the whole family, they go swimming in this during the summer, as they should. That's what I would be doing. All for sale. All for sale. Even though this is your home pond, it's, oh. it's not a home pond. Oh. This is a business pond. Yes. Understood. You would need a pond this big for the koi. These couldn't go in your shop really, right? Oh, it's too large. Which fish in here is the oldest fish? That one. This big orange one? Around about 30 years. 30 years old. You had the biggest fish ever to be imported to Europe at one point. Fish was one meter of 18, I think. 1.18 meters. These koi in here have to be some of the biggest that I've probably ever seen. I mean, I've seen big koi, but these are just absolute monsters. It's kind of blowing my brain. Oh, there's still more here? Oh my God. It's a frog pond. And uh, we have some snakes also. Snakes or snails? Snakes. snakes. I mean, I was going to say snails or snakes, because those are snakes. Those are two very different animals. There's more? Well, how many more ponds do you have back here? Jeez. Wow, so there's another pond. So many more. This one is 50,000 liters. But I like these because they're very like natural ponds. They're very well aquascaped. There's like good vegetation. I like the rocks and basically everything around the pond. Even the bonsai trees are really pretty. I like the decks because you can hang out and really enjoy the fish. Yanni, is this giving you any ideas? I think I'm gonna start selling koi in the United States. I'm a little shook, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Koi kichi, the Japanese word for a koi crazy. This is koi kichi for sure. It's like a hundred degrees in here. It's so hot. Wow. 
And then there's another one. Hi, boys. What's up? Another greenhouse. This is the last one. Last one. You promise? There's no more secret ponds? All right, so in here, Thomas has a lot of his really, really high-end koi to show us. He grew all of these from tosai, which means he grew all of these from being babies. Wow. What's the smallest now? The largest. Ah, so this was the runt of the litter. That's amazing. Wow. This is a showa. This is Thomas's favorite fish. It's very, very nice. The scales, the body shape, everything. That is an amazing fish. And it's huge. How old is this fish? Four years. And how much would you sell him for? 24. 22,000 euros. Wow. That's got to be a good rewarding feeling to uh, buy a fish that's just a little baby. And now he's worth 22,000 euros. He's a big, fat showpiece. That hasn't happened for me yet. So I'm looking forward to that one day. What is this right here? This is a Japanese lantern. How heavy? <laughs> Yanni, let's see if we can even lift this one piece right here. Oh, that's heavy. Now, how are we gonna get it back? Yanni, it's off center. We can't just leave it like this. Thomas is gonna come back and then, Yanni, come on. You got it. You think he's gonna notice? Uh oh. Who the fuck <laughs> moved my <laughs> Got a bonsai here. Got another bonsai here. And there's bonsai over there. So you can see this one's nicely cut and trimmed. Now you know why they look so nice. It's because they got cut. So all the bonsai trees are actually getting cut today. Oh. Bonsai man. The bonsai man. <laughs> Whoa. You're the bonsai master. <laughs> oh, you don't speak English. <laughs> With Japanese trainer, he learned that Japanese design. So there's a little bit of specialty with this Special. tree. Yes. Over here, this is Tim's turtle home. This is like a greenhouse. Look at the turtles. Wow. Do they have names? Okay, we'll name this one George. One out of the five turtles should definitely be named George. These guys are really cute. And this is an awesome home. And then we have the big turtles over here. And these guys can just walk out into the yard. Wow. Let's see how fast this guy is. Ready? Set. Go. Go, no. I say the last pond on the other side, but we have one more pond I show you. One more? One more pond. A really nice pond. All right. Huh. Yeah, it's the last pond. 